Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach, and you're tuned in to Madden 19 on EA Sports. On tap, we've got what should be a fairly intriguing matchup between the San Francisco 49ers and the Pittsburgh Steelers. So with that, let's get you up to Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. Standing by for the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Right at the convergence of the three rivers on Art Rooney Drive, we welcome you to Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the San Francisco 49ers and the Pittsburgh Steelers. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we look at this Steeler ball club entering play. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Try and start this drive in the air. Throw left side, complete to Smith-Schuster. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to go for a big play downfield. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. I have no crystal ball up here. I can't truly see into the future. But if they don't start getting some pressure on him, make him move around a little bit and do something with the receivers to, you know, change up their timing, they're going to get shredded as we've seen so far. Right now, they're off to a blazing start. Yeah, and you are right. He looks way too comfortable back there in the pocket. Yeah, there shouldn't be a pillow back there for him, all right? <laughs> if, as, as a defensive guy, they've got to dump him on his backside a few times, shake things up. Now they're going to need an in-drive adjustment here on this first series. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. 
forced out to his left. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Back to throw here. Oh, he almost picked it. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. And that's a throw he'd like to have back. Now fourth. here on first down and this time he's got the hookup it's complete and he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49 yard line one quarter in the books 7-3 the score EA Sports NFL Sunday returns following this the NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers Back with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's Steeler football to begin quarter number two. They're looking at a second and short yardage to start things out. They'll look to throw here. They'll find Smith Schuster. That's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 45 yard line. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes. You're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Let's go! White 90! White 90! Back to throw now on first down. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it. It's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is, because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. Come on, let's go! White 90! White 90! He'll drop to throw. Open man completes it to Smith Schuster. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49 yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Able to pick up a dozen yards, but they needed more. Fourth down. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own. But as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind. comes the Steeler offense now, ready to see what they can do here. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do Come so. On, let's go. The Grand kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Let's go! He'll look to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 20. And they will score. It's a 49er touchdown. Those free safeties, they get to sit back there if they've got good pass rushers like this team does. Read like a book. He read it like a book and took it in for six. And if they use their eyes well and their anticipation skills, they can make big plays just as what we saw. A free safety's dream. Follow the football, go to it, and take it the other way.
After the pick six, they go right back to the air. This is caught by Antonio Brown. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. They'll look to throw here on first down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. It's never a bad idea to try and get it to Antonio Brown, but there must be a little bit of the Madden curse going on for a cover athlete here. Hasn't been able to get that elite separation that we're used to seeing from him. Back to throw now on second and ten. And his throw's going to be incomplete. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. They'll look to throw. On the crossing route, complete. It's Bell. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Two minutes to play here in the first half. Back to Heinz Field after this. All right, coming up at intermission. Charles, you want a way to enhance your Saturday? I certainly do. Uh, I've got just a thing for you. It's the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by Orlando. He'll be alongside and have to take us through the weekend in the NFL. Excellent work that time to get free. And for his exploits, he's going to be left with just a third and three. I thought they were going to sack him there like they did on first down. Great coverage, but he found a way to move with his legs. Yeah, his ability to take off. Not only did he get some yardage back, he got a little bit extra. Really helps him on third down. Makes it manageable now. And a broken tackle helps lead to a first down game. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now that's disappointing for the defense. They had the advantage, had excellent coverage all over the field, but they let him get away, scramble, and pick up a first down and inside the five-yard line. They'll drop the throw. Buying type. And he's in for six and a Steeler touchdown. It's their quarterback. His 14th touchdown now of the year. And the Steelers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals before this one they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. like that I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on I'm going to hit them with a screen soon Here we go. now a shotgun snap as they look to throw and he's able to take this one up to the 35 yard line it's a 9 yard pickup on the play and just like that it's 3rd down well he's proven real effective running the football no one open don't force it just get what you can and that's what he's done very well in this game and he's going to be wrapped up and driven down. Three. 
The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that will give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. He'll look to throw, and he connects with Vance McDonald. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A good pick up there, a 22. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? They're going to look to throw. This will be caught by Brown. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Well, if you do read man covers, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. On play action, they'll throw. Flushed out right. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. But to me, this leads to the question, do you admire the way he puts his body out there all the time, or do you think he should protect himself a little bit more? <laughs> well, he's been on the ground several times with all those sacks that he's taken. So, I don't know, I kind of admire him not sliding down there, don't you? I'm with you on that one. The meter definitely leads towards admiration. to throw and caught in the end zone touchdown Steelers Vance McDonald his second touchdown on the season and the Steelers are going to take the lead and it was a tight window he knew he had to rocket that thing in there he got it done and when you're able to complete one like that, your confidence has to just go sky high. You just mentioned it. Tight window, sings it in. to the 29-yard line brought down there. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Pittsburgh. It's Steeler football, and they have the lead as well as we begin quarter number four. Second and six, just inside the 30. Here we go! They'll set up a throw. Over the middle here to Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, a 22. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as 
I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Looking to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Let's go. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Charles, thinking back to what you said in the first quarter, that part of the magic elixir for a road victory for these underdogs was going to be winning the turnover battle. Well, they only have one right now. Look at the scoreboard. Yeah, not exactly playing to the form that I subscribed, right? When you talk about winning that turnover battle, that evens things out, especially for a road team, especially for a team that's an underdog. Back to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Antonio Brown, the intended receiver. And that takes us from second to third down. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. Let's go! What? The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Give him 30 yards there. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. Here we go! What? They'll look to throw now on first down. That's a strong running. Dancing to his left. Got some real estate inside the 30. And he's going to get it down to the 14-yard line. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you got something about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. They've got a first down in field goal range already. We saw a number of good games earlier today. This one might top all of those. It's been a dandy as we come up on first and ten. Back to throw here. And his throw is incomplete. I guess you can't be afraid to take those chances late in the game. He tried to fit that one in there. Nice job, though, defensively. But to your point, it was a nice job of knocking the ball away. But you're also right. You can't be afraid to take those chances. That means your guys going downfield to catch the ball, they've got to elevate their game and come down with these in order to keep it. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. James Washington, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Steelers are going to take the lead. 
Oh, that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock, and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off now on the other side. He's going to keep it. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll look to throw here. Stepping up. He's going to keep it. Defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Able to shake him off. And he's in for six and a Steeler touchdown. It's their quarterback punching it in from a yard away. And the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still... There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not in a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game. They also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in. So for the Steelers, they're on a nice early roll as they move to 3-1 and one with a win here. And they'll have another home date next week as the Cincinnati Bengals come to town. Meanwhile, for San Francisco, they'll drop down to 1-3. and three. And they'll be at home for one next week as the Baltimore Ravens come to town. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.